Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Paul, aka the guy who's just like Thor because I love to get hammered off white lightning. Very British joke to open the video with, and in this breakdown, we're going to be going over the theory that Lady Loki might not be who you think she is. First introduced in Loki Episode 2, it seemed like she was indeed a gender swap version of the God of Mischief from an alternate timeline. However, we do know some things that could contradict this, and throughout this video, we're going to be going through the evidence to support that she's another Marvel character. Full spoilers ahead, so if you don't want anything ruined, then I recommend you turn off now. Make sure you like the video if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to never miss a trick. Cha cha. Without the way, thank you for clicking this. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so the mysterious variant of Loki is someone who has plagued the TVA throughout the first two episodes of the brand new Disney Plus series. She's wiped out several Minutemen teams and is causing havoc across the sacred timeline by creating several Nexus events. Episode 2 ended with Loki and the TVA going to the Rock's Court disaster to locate the character. We discovered that she'd been hiding out at apocalyptic events in order to avoid detection and after Mobius, motherfucking Mobius, Tracked her down due to Kablooey being sold at this location, the team closed in. Loki came face to face with her, and though she shared several mannerisms, man you're tripping, well if you think that's definitely Lady Loki. I've watched the episode several times, picked over all the little clues in it, and I believe that this is actually another character from the Marvel Universe that's called Sylvie. Now firstly, in order to discuss this theory, we have to take a big step back and look at the show's cast. Episode 2 showcased that there are several versions of Loki running around, and this includes things like a Tour de France winner and ones that the Hulk wouldn't call so puny. Therefore, we know that out in the timeline, there are several versions of the character knocking about. We know from the trailers that we at least meet a King Loki ruler of Asgard version, as well as a Vote Loki 1 who did appear in his own comic run. Now speaking of comics, if you're familiar with Loki, Agent of Asgard, then you will know that we deal with a brand new, young version of Loki that is trying to right the wrongs of his past. However, he is haunted by a future version of himself, a much older Loki that torments him at every point. We know from IMDB that Richard E. Grant will be featuring in the show, and personally, I believe that this is an old version of Loki. However, I will say cast lists can never be fully trusted, as One Division had people like James Spader listed, but I do think that he will be in the series. When speaking with Total Film, head writer Michael Waldron said the following when discussing whether he would be in it or not. Nobody wants to hear me say who Richard E. Grant is playing. We're lucky to have him in the show, if he's in the show. I heard he might be. So I think everyone should just watch and find out. Like Loki himself, we really wanted the experience of watching the show to feel kind of unexpected and constantly shape-shifting. So, I uh, kind of kind of played your hand early on there, and I think the bit about them being lucky to have him in the show is only something that you would say if he was turning up. However, our theory does kind of hinge on him appearing and being an older version of Loki, but we'll discuss that later on. Now back to the lady, and if you watched the English version of the show, then you may have seen in the credits that Sofia Martino was listed as being a character called Variant. However, in international versions, this was translated to read out Sylvie. Now, in case you don't know who Sylvie is, she actually went on to take the title Enchantress. No, not that one. Now, as a child, Sylvie woke up one day to find out that she had been given incredible powers. This included several abilities such as telekinesis, possession, mind control, and the ability to cast spells. These are all things that we've seen Loki do, and interestingly, Lady Loki do as well. Now, Sylvie ended up joining the Avengers, and over time she started speaking with an Asgardian accent, which just so happens to be the same that I have, so as you know, it's all connected. Now, early on in her career, Sylvie really made her mark, and everything seemed to be going her way. No one suspected anything was off, and she quickly became a valued member of the team. However, it was revealed that Sylvie was actually given these abilities by Loki, and that he had an overall plan. Loki had been effing around one day, and he just decided to take a mortal and trick them into believing that they were as guardian. It was a crushing blow, and it kind of robbed Sylvie of the position that she'd worked so hard for. Thus, Sylvie was somewhat manipulated, and if our theories are right, then potentially she may have been picked by an older Loki to be his plaything. In the comics, Sylvie was born in Oklahoma, and as we know from the ending of episode 1, she has been to this location. Potentially, she might have even lived there as a child, 
and have been visited by a time traveller earlier in her life. This would be how she knew to travel back there to strike at the TVA when they were sending out a team to investigate. Because this event would have always occurred in the timeline, then a younger version of her at home would have been there to witness it and could have found her own way to travel through time with what the TVA left behind. The reset charge never went off and thus these events would remain completely unchanged. Perhaps she met Loki when she was younger and he gave her the abilities we see her wielding in episode 2. He might have even tricked her into believing that she was a variant of him and she could be trying to destroy the TVA. Loki has the ability to implant false memories and Sylvie actually experienced things like this in the comic books. Now, other evidence that suggests this is that the characters look quite similar. Sylvie in the comics is blonde, much like Sophia. Yeah, yes, it's a reach. However, all the other Lokis we've seen so far outside of her possess the long black hair that he's famous for, so the fact that it's changed for her does seem a bit strange. She also tells Loki not to call her Loki, which further lends itself to this theory. When going through files, we can see her name is Sylvie Laufey's daughter, which in Icelandic culture is what you name your daughter, hinting that she may be an amalgamation of Loki and Sylvie. Now I know I said before you shouldn't pay too much attention to cast lists as they can be hit and miss, but currently it is listed on IMDb that Kaylee Fleming is playing a young Sylvie. This was posted long before the show dropped, so it seems weird that someone would preempt the theory. Thus, what if the biggest trick that Loki pulled was making us think that Sylvie was actually him? I think it would make a lot of sense going off what we know, and it just seems like the most likely thing due to all the evidence. Interestingly, in the comics, when we're first introduced to Lady Loki, it was because the events of Ragnarok had led to the spirits of the Asgardians being displaced. Loki ended up going into a body that was intended for Sif, and thus he took on a female form. Female form? Is, is this the best script we've got? And no, dear me. Anyway, it's also possible that Loki's spirit may have entered Sylvie's body instead of Sif. Potentially, this could be the version of Loki that was killed in Infinity War, as it happened right after Ragnarok, and I think that it would be quite interesting to see a version that we come to know over the series going head to head with a version that we know from the films. Now, this is of course a fan theory, so we don't know for definite and might be wildly wrong, but there's, there's some evidence here to support that something is off. Loki should never be taken at face value, and who knows, we might just be scratching the surface here. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on these theories, so make sure you comment below and let me know. As a thank you for interacting with the video, you'll be entered into a prize draw on the 30th of June, in which we're giving away 3 copies of the MCU Phase 3 box set. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the theories. The winners of last month's competition are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of the episode, which will be linked on screen right now. We've gone over everything in episode 2, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. With that all the way, thank you for sitting through the video. I've been Paul, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.